hour so really quick and and what was it in the 2000 early 2000 2012 that the a couple from Woodbridge, New Jersey, they from Isabela, Puerto Rico. They went on vacation to Cabo San Lucas and they called the Mexicans in, in, in um, St. Lucas um, selling candy. So they taught them that you come to America, that's a good business. You can't sell candies. But that's why they started the trend of them selling candy all over the United States, you know. <laughs> So <laughs> be very careful when you buy candy from Mexican. <laughs> it's not in the books and the That's the start of movement. Um However, so I contacted on Friday, you know, I'm, I, I had contact with the United Nations, um, so the consulate of Mali, I've, I've been working on this for a year and seven months and two days, I've been researching because they, they've been very, very worried and careful about letting and so many millennials are moving there from other countries in Africa and everything. And and the thing is that they um in 1997 um it was it was reported that Mali was the biggest producing diamond country of diamonds and the and and the but diamonds are not are not produced in in Africa. They man made. So that's a lie. Um um so took the millennials the the the, the, the migrants um took advantage and came there and now that they they want to get into politics and getting everything and they promising the people of Mali and the and the and the people that originate from Mali and the and the people that belong in Mali, the old schoolers, that they're gonna vote with the right party, which is the Rotary Party, I believe. And that's not true. They are all they, they, they this is one of the only countries that gives citizenship to America. And all uh, they, they they trust me, it's not a good idea. Trust me, you guys have to do something about Mali.